25 straight seasons this team made the playoffs. Yep. The last two, they haven't. What would a good season in Detroit be this year? Well, I think a really surprising season for Detroit for Detroit would be last year they had 73 points. Okay, it's a long way to get back to yeah. the playoffs. But if they had a really spectacular season, I think all you could really expect out of this group in their development would be 88 to 94 points. If they could do that, that would be in the shocker category for me. That would be a tremendous season by the coaching staff and all of their players hitting on the poten potential that they have a lot quicker than we might as expect. What would be more of an average season or what I think would happen is I think they will do better than last year, but I would still see them in that, say, 79 to 85 point range. That's about what I expect out of the Wings this year. Now, what does that mean? It means definitively you won't be in the playoffs, notwithstanding that Philly made it a bunch of years ago with about 86 points or 85 points, but most chances not. So that begs the question, would Detroit be better off maybe if they didn't even have that much improvement this year? I loved what Ken Holland was able to accomplish at the draft. Yeah. Uh, some of the trades he made, the Tatar trade was uh, tremendous for them. The way that he's restocking this club is very intelligent. The future is bright but I don't think we're quite there yet for this club. Uh, Ken Holland, certainly maybe the busiest GM at the draft the last couple oh, yeah. of years. This team has had picks, loaded up on picks. Look, 21 the last two seasons. That's more than Vegas, and Vegas got about a billion draft picks uh, during that expansion draft. So you mentioned all these young guys coming up. Sooner rather than later, is this a, is this a quick retool in Detroit or is this more of a, a longer term process before this team is back to the glory? You know, it's really interesting. You see the New York Rangers going through a retool rebuild right now. You see the Detroit Red Wings. These are original six clubs. We're not really used to seeing no. that. You know, that just speaks to how difficult or how competitive the league is right now. We have seen some massive turnarounds. Look no further than last year with the Colorado Avalanche. Yeah. So can it be done? Absolutely. Do the Wings have comparable pieces, say, to Colorado? No, they don't. They don't. Nest. Dylan Larkin would be their Nathan McKinnon, mm -hmm. and Dylan Larkin has a very bright future, but this is still going to be a learning season for him. Last year, 63 points. I was really impressed with how he came along, particularly after not really making the adjustment that smoothly to center, but it looked a lot better. Now he's got to make a whole nother adjustment at center, and that is in terms of the strength of competition he's going to play against. That's going to be another look for him. Love the long-term outlook for him, but I think, I think there's still going to be some growth there. All right, we'll see how it plays out this season. You mentioned look no further than Colorado last year. What a turnaround that was. A that turnaround. was from dead last to a playoff team.